Welcome to Simply 15. Today we're going to actually talk about a TV show. And we're going to be talking about HBO's Succession. Succession. Well, DJ might say Succession. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we're going to talk about the first three seasons, right? You saw all three seasons. I've seen all three. Matt's seen all three. And we might get a little interesting on this one. I think usually we're all in agreement. Um, I Finally. might. I might actually surprise with my views on certain things. So, yes. I'm going to go right to Matt on this one. Me? I got to go first. You're going to go first, and I'll I'll, I'll show you why. Um, I want you to go first. I think we, uh, Secession came out a few years back. I want to say 2017. 17? 17. Well, well, they they skipped a year because they didn't do anything. Well, no, well they actually no the show was. In, I think they so, continued, yeah. Twenty twenty, they they didn't have a they didn't have a season, I don't think. I uh, regardless, uh, that fir- I, I that that first uh, season was a surprise. I didn't watch it when it first came on. I kind of saw it late after the first season so was I. about I, to I, wrap. I think it was I like didn't the watch last this until season two. And the oh. season two is when I started watching it. When I wa- watched, I think there was it, two so. two or three episodes left when I when I actually sat down and watched it. But yeah. Let's uh let's get into it. What's your one word for secession? Oh well, Matt? I would I would probably say uh creamy. <laughs> Why would you say creamy? I don't know because it's like uh, it's this is like a uh, a TV show that is if you like all the gooey stuff like in the middle of stuff you're like ooh I love this like gooey luscious smarmy fucking crazy shit going on. I don't know why I said creamy. I, I couldn't think of a fucking word. So, <laughs> I'm looking creamy right now. Um, you You're impregnating but, everybody. As I am. I'm fucking. I'm, I'm impregnating the internet. For the for the time. audio listeners out there, Matt's got a shirt off right now. Yeah, no, you, you, you it's it's, it's, it's zipped loose. down. It's, ah, it's, there's some chest hair. There's some loose. chest hair. And, and, and the fu- and the fu- I'm rocking the fucking gold chain too. Drink, so, drink it in. No, folks, I'm looking. I'm in. looking like a fucking character from fucking Succession. I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking like fucking cousin Greg's cousin. <laughs> fucking cousin, cousin Greg. Cousin, cousin Greg. Cousin Greg. I'm looking more like fucking uh, what's his name? His fucking granddad. Uh, oh, uh, from Bay Pig and City. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking like <laughs> Revenge of the Nerds. I'm looking like Rolo Tomasi is what you're Lu- looking like. Lewis's fucking dad and fucking uh, Revenge of the Nerds. Mm. It, it's just you, you've listened to everything, and it's like impreg- impregnation might be a better word for this. It's like it's like the dialogue just impregnates you because it's so. Well, that's well. It's fucking good. But that's where it, my word is. Talk to you. your word is impregnation. <laughs> no, yours is intercourse. <laughs> well, no, my my word my word is Shakespearean. Really? Okay. All right. I find this to be close to like a Shakespearean play. Um, it's a shitty family. You 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 start to have these feelings for each member. I think pretty early on, you start developing this love hate relationship with the family. Um, I'm going to, the reason why I wanted to go second is because I enjoyed that first season quite a bit. The second season to me was the strongest season. I enjoyed the arc of the characters and especially the way it ended with the father trying to, you know, tell the son to essentially grow balls and then he grows balls and fucks his father over. And he doesn't like it too much. Third season I have some issues with. And the first half of this third season, I think, is a little is a little slow. And yeah, reason why, ladies and gentlemen, we are we're doing this is because we told DJ that he should watch it. <laughs> we we, we were, we've been telling him for the past like year or two. I think yes. I would over, bet over, the over. house that he would like it mm-hmm. because yeah. of the people involved. Mm-hmm. Um, and from what DJ has said. Uh, uh, behind the scenes, yeah, I not, tend public, to, not publicly yet. Not I tend, publicly, no, I no. tend to agree um, with the third season. I was getting annoyed by the certain way characters. certain characters were acting, and it was mostly because, as a viewer, you invest time and, and emotion into these characters, and you want to see, right? A good story has a good arc. And these characters seem to keep falling backwards into the same old uh, 
rhythm that I don't feel like we should be in. And that first half, like Matt was pointing out, of the third season, really, I, I was enjoying it, but I was in denial. It was a and, little procedural, I feel. The first part of the third season well, felt... Like particular character that's behind Matt right now yeah. is it was aggravating me a lot because he was doing the same stupid things that I thought he already fixed and learned no. and, and could have. But I feel like that's part of the like point of it. Where it's well, like, they're, ne they're never going to change. Yes. These it, characters which, have that. Which I think could be infuriating to potentially our other member well <laughs> and we're gonna get to him shortly um that that's that second half of the third season i thought definitely was better yeah. um in particularly when you know during the birthday party and everything it's just like one of those things where you're like you're just a, a whiny little bitch that needs to just yeah. go crazy you know and trying to to go on the talk show and then them wanting to ask questions and he's, you know, having a breakdown and, and having that it was getting on my nerves quite a bit because I thought we were already over this. I thought he kind of grew his balls and he was coming after his father. And I thought what we were going to have is he was going to create a, 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 essentially you're going to have two, like a war. You're going to have two sides. You're going to have certain yeah. family members go to one, one go to the other. And we're going to end up well, in this huge. They were huge... building that as like, they but were, it was like, yeah, but then they, they don't go building... there. <laughs> no. So where we're going to go next? Yeah. DJ. <laughs> the other guy. What's your one word review for Succession? My one word review for Succession is Avarice. Uh if you ask me and say is the show well written, well directed, well shot, the, an the answer is absolutely yes. Acted. If you ask me if I enjoyed watching this show, the answer is absolutely not. <laughs> Main, and it's not because they're all selfish, lying pieces of shit sociopaths. It's because the show positions itself in a way where it wants me to like the selfish, lying, greedy. Well, it wants you to. Be, it wants you to get on a side. What side? But they're all horrible on? people. Right. Once, once you get like, to a side, right. then you get hurt again, and you go to yeah. another it side. It wants me to like this old guy that back punches an autistic kid in the face on Thanksgiving. It wants me to like a whore that cheats on her husband and is only married to him because of optics. It wants me to like a sex pest who sends dick pics to an older sex lady pest. and then makes fun of his his own brother's suicide. It wants me to like these people, and I fucking hate every last one of them. I want them all to die. And I'm sitting there, and it's, this is a personal thing. And I know everybody loves the show. It's fine. Me personally, I hate selfishness and not in in myself and people and everything else. And this show does not just wallow in selfishness. It throws it up in the air like in Faye, like, hey, isn't selfishness great? And I'm like, celebrating like, selfishness. Celebrating selfishness. Yeah. There is nobody in this show to like. The closest is Kendall, and he's a piece of crap. <laughs> Everybody else you name, he tries to change, I can rip them apart. They're all horrible people. It. And if it's if it's if it's like a drama, or I mean, like if you're talking about Seinfeld, where they're all horrible people, but it's played as a farce. This is played straight. So I'm like, what am I watching this for? Am I rooting for them all to die? Am I rooting for any of these people to win? No, they're all horrible, horrible people who have committed atrocities throughout the show. So I'm like watching, like what? I don't feel. I mean. I haven't done any no research on this show, and it feels like most of this show is just there will be blood. This show, where people are sacrificing personal relationships for monetary gain, and the show kind of sums up what Jerry says in the last episode, where what is my what is uh, how is it in my self interest? That is the entire show. Mm. What's in yeah. it for me? And it's, I can't, it's, a, it's a microcosm, I think, of like of this. That's why people love the show. It, this is the world. Why should <laughs> I wear a mask? In What's in it for life? me? <laughs> Yes. That's what the show is. Why should I wear this mask? To like, right, you know, feel sick. Like, secession is a cesspool of Cesspools terrible people, <laughs> yeah. and um, you, you, I like I said, it's it's, it's Shakespearean. Like you're treated to this family that uh, is is bad, is a bad, is a bad group, but with that 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 goofiness and dry humor that kind of gets thrown in sometimes. I guess there's like a attracts charm. me. There, there's a certain charm to like how shitty they but. are. It's like watching a movie about a guy who's addicted to drugs, but we're taking the perspective of the drugs. I don't like anything any, anybody in this show. It's like, but you like drugs. I, I, I mean, should I follow heroin around? What like what 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 is there for me to 
to to root for. I, guess I don't know what I'm well, rooting. There's no, I don't think there's a rooting. I think there's more of a downfall. But nobody's ability. having a downfall. The, the main person that needs to have a downfall never gets a downfall. The well, main and that brings has... up a very good point to one of the episodes that I really like. Mm-hmm. Where there's a there's there's two lines, two or three lines spoken by. I've never seen him uh, get fucked. That that line. That is my favorite fucking. Yeah. That, that's that's to me just the world as a whole. And he says, "I'm not going to join your team because your dad never gets fucked, right? And you're going to get fucked." I've and never seen him get fucked once. When he said that, I've never <laughs> seen him get fucked once. Right. And then it all works out. I mean, this, I guess, is kind of a spoiler to the end of, well, you know, season three ended. Well, not necessarily. At this point. Right. But but not necessarily, but it's played in a way where it's like, he lived by that money. He was like, yep, fuck you. Yeah, they're all going to fuck each other over. Yes. You don't know who's going to. As small as they are, they're going to. Trust who. Take their fucking shot. And unfortunately, it, 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 it. It just dips its toes into the water sometimes, and you expect like that hard betrayal uh, against each other, which would create these the divides within the family and, and the storylines. But unfortunately, you watch a couple episodes, and it goes in a nice direction. I'm talking about season three right mm-hmm. now, and it was kind of going back again and going forward and back again, and the progression with season two, especially, I thought was was rooted in a way that was was really enjoyable watching right. and season three the ending is what really was was the best for me and and, and I, I can understand dj you you feeling that way uh i am sorry you went through such a, a horrendous experience <laughs> I, I, but he got it, through I, all I of them though he, he, he fucking do, went I, through I, the whole thing. you went through them all so that's a different experience <laughs> right away I, I, I say it narratively. It can the be very. Episode, the final episode of the season, spoiler alert, Tom betrays his wife. And I, they show it like in a way where I'm supposed to be sad that happened. Why? She's a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit. They're all pieces of shit. So narratively, the scene doesn't work for me where it's like, so he betrayed you. Good. Fuck you. Fuck you and fuck all of like I If it was like she was a good well, person and he betrayed her. I, oh, I, 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 let me just explain real quick why I felt that, and maybe mm. because you didn't. He wanted to have a child so badly. Yeah. My suspicion is that the next season she's pregnant, and she's also dealing with this the divide mm-hmm. with her husband, and You're I right. think that's going to create some interesting moments. But sure. you know, maybe to your point, you know, at the time we don't know that. Like, if you had a shot, a scene. Um, uh, prior to that, where she takes a pregnancy test and she finds out, and maybe they're dealing with a couple little other things, and then you find out the husband, then you would that would work probably better as a like if she, fell I mean, in love, if she fell in love with him or she trying to like I want to make a fresh start, but from the word go, she does not love him. She says she doesn't love him. Oh, she says she cheats it, yeah. on him all the time. Yeah. So if she like was actually changing her ways and then he betrayed her, then you got drama. But she maybe. doesn't change her ways. She doesn't give a shit about him. She, he doesn't give a shit really kind of about her. So when the betrayal happens, I'm like, okay. But I guess the thing is shit. with that, it's still an optics thing with her where it's like she's too deep into this and he's pretty much got her by the balls at this point. Even if he is going to fuck her over, what is she going to do? Divorce him? She deserves to get fucked over. My point yeah. is the betrayal doesn't work when you're about betraying somebody that is good well when everyone's betraying everybody <laughs> well, well, yeah, even the mother, well even no the mother, one's nice no one's the good fucking betrays so the kids who cares? you don't have the the good what's person worse, the mother betrayed. betraying the kids or him betraying her what's what's worse i guess i don't but, get they all deserve to die but everything is very <laughs> it doesn't matter but, but i feel like everything in the show is very personal everything is very personal sure and season two was great because there was a more of a uh uh, a, a macro way of looking at it. It's like, oh, well, they finally found out about all this shit going on. I think we all can agree. We got the last 30 seconds here. Okay. The fucking theme songs kick ass. Oh, it's all amazing. It's, it's a amazing. fucking banger. You know, I love so, that you intro. Know, you know the theme song is great when it's the only music they use in the whole fucking show. And you don't <laughs> skip it. You, you just don't skip it. it. You don't, you don't, you don't take fucking HBO's fucking device to skip the intro. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Fuck fuck you. you. I'm listening fuck to it. I'm watching it. I fuck love you. that. I hate this show and I love that music. Yeah. Fuck you, HBO. It's a fucking <laughs> There you go. That was 15 minutes. The music's that was our 15-minute podcast. Theme song's great. DJ doesn't like the show. 
Matt and I like the show. Stop. It's all. I do. Fuck you. Bye. Bada bing, bada boom.